Hello, I'm Landis, and welcome to 60 Parsecs. Since we now have a bit of space on the Wednesdays with House Flipper going sort of once a month or so, I thought we could use this time to play a few smaller indie games. And so we're here with 60 Parsecs, which is recently released. Bit difficult to explain what it is. We'll just get in and get on with it. But I found this game purely because I played the one before. This is the second in a sort of series. It kind of happens around the same time. Uh, I'm going to assume these are difficulties. Space drill. Let's do the, the one in the middle. Oh, I actually get to pick a person this time. Who's this? Tom Thompson. So, two intellect, two strength, one agility. Oh, he's super intelligent and quite agile. Emmett Ellis. Dee Dee Dawkins. It's fast. Baby Bronco. Oh, he's like super strong. Captain Skull. Oh, they got girls. And Megan Man is just a good all rounder. I mean, he's a good all-rounder as well. Let's take Tom Thompson, just because he's smart and strong. Everyone's first impression of Tom Thompson is that of a decorated major, brave and courageous. A man who has seen it all, sporting a dastardly eye patch and a coat of once magnificent blonde hair. Tom believes to be everyone's dream come true and the personification of the American hero. Except none of this is true. Let's go. But essentially, with this game, there's been a nuclear explosion on the planet, and we're on a space station. Shit's about to hit the fan. We've got 60 seconds to grab what we can in a kind of a mad dash little mini game before it starts, and then try and survive with a text based type adventure. Let's get stuff. You're useful. You're useful. You're probably useful. Get out of my way. There we go. Get all the useful stuff. I mean, I have no idea what is actually useful. I did not mean to take that. Soup. All the soup. Right. Get. Pick it out. Maybe you. I saw a first aid kit. Probably want a first aid kit. I missed the first aid kit. <laughs> Pick up the first aid kit. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. We're running out of time. Suck. Ah, uh, more soup. Right, that's it, we're gonna have to go. Oh, I have no idea what I got and if any of it was any good. We're about to find out. But after this little mad dash, it turns into sort of a text based random choice. RN Jesus type of thing. With lots of me talking. Day one. Come back later, please have a nice day. Alright, so the sock puppet stops insanity. First aid kit treats sickness, that's good. Six soup. Got a lighter. Main computer. Check the star log. Hmm. Ah, status. Something should go there. Got a mask. Let's check our status. Greetings, ASTRO. Computerized assistant reporting for duty. You must be Tom, right? I'm pleased to announce that due to your actions during the escape, you are the perfect candidate to become the captain of the vessel. Welcome aboard the escape shuttle, Captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen Program, please accept our apologies for the small misfortune of being hurled 60 parsecs away from Earth. Your mission, find a safe place to land on and try to contact the outside world. Please check the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing protocol and feed your crew. Take it away, Captain. Okay. This thing. 
Uh, Captain, since you have just taken command, the protocol dictates a speech must be given. A good one. Scratch that. A great one. The crew is eyeing you anxiously. The time to show your true colors is now. This is it. You can really show what breed of captain you will be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? Strength! Okay, now what? You're flashing. End day. Day two. A strong captain is what this crew needs. Too bad your display of power was limited to shouting random things like this is a stick up and salty cheesecake. If your intention was to distress or absolutely horrify your crew, then you made it. Captain, they are visibly upset. I think I registered someone talking about jumping out of the airlock. Captain, the crafting module in the back of the cabin is now active. You might remember this from your Astro Citizen training. This wonderful machine lets you create something from almost nothing. All you need is a little bit of minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies, as well as upgrade items and shuttle systems. Okay. Items to craft. Artifact. Tape. Communicates is probably a good thing. We should probably get this. Because as far as I remember, these things are going to be important in decision making. So we'll have a communicator. Uh, Captain, there appears to be an error. Error. I am broken. Please fix me. System error. Quick. Action required. System error. Please, Captain, do something. Do something. I'm not sure how long I can stay. Stay operational. Act fast. Well, probably intellectual. <laughs> Don't want to twat it. And we already fucked up with a strength check. <laughs> Everyone's okay. No food today. Day three. Hello there, Captain. I'm happy to report the error was fixed. I just wished you were a little smarter about it. Pushing every button with no rhyme or reason really wasn't the best approach. I'm sorry about electrocuting the entire crew. You unknowingly activated the anti-hijacker countermeasures while trying to fix me. You should have been more careful, Captain. Crafting completing. New item available. Yay! So we failed again. <laughs> hmm. It's a daydreamer. And there's our radio. What else can we craft? Moon pig. Tape. So both of these need the rest of the minerals. Not recycling anything. The upgrades all need power. Yeah, let's build some tape. That's going to be useful. Let's see what decision we can fail on this time. Ah, see, yeah, we need tape. Or a book. We should have got the book. Captain, there's something that we need. We need... All right, yeah, da, da, da. Can you hear me, Captain? Ah, you say ah in these situations, right? I hate raising my volume, but the malfunctioning body odor removal filter is making a racket. I think it's malfunctioning. Want the handbook? Fuck it, I'm not using soup. Soup's food. Day four. Good news and bad news, Captain. Protocol dictates that I deliver the bad news first. Body odor remover filter is no longer working. Ergo, the smell. Good news is, the noise is gone. Thankfully, it wasn't an essential system. Not for me, anyway. Your crewmates appear disappointed by the smell. We have our tape. Ooh. Ah, so tell us about them. We're on day four. I should probably feed them. Um, let's upgrade the system. No idea what that does. But it's probably something we want. We found a small metal box in one of the compartments labelled to set, to open. We could take apart the lock and gather some elements from it, ignoring what's inside. We could try to open it. 
which would require deft fingers. Which will it be? Oh, we don't have that good at agility listing the intellect. <laughs> Although we failed on everything. Actually, there we are. So hang on, first day we couldn't build anything. Second day we built the radio, third day we built. But yeah, we should probably eat something. Probably make some soup as well. Day five. Oh, she's pissed. Tinkering with the boxes locked did not pay off. You triggered a sandy tampering mechanism and heard a breaking sound from within. The box's contents got destroyed. It made you and your crew incredibly frustrated and angry. Emmett has started to act more defiant. Dee Dee is now insubordinate. Uh oh, we're no. failing as captains. No. Yeah, they say no. 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 Bastards. Uh, you'll do as you're told, and we can't make anything so busy doing that. Nope. Nope. Huh? Huh? Not ready for it. Oh. No? Oh, wait. We're going to do another decision. Oh my gosh. You found a holographic chess set on board. You've never heard of holographic chess? It's like regular chess, but with big round board. And your pieces are holographic monsters. Because it doesn't use physical pieces, I can totally play you. You'll have to input my moves, but just remember, I'm controlling the airflow to where you sleep at night. You better not cheat. That's all I'm saying. Want to play a game? Intellectually, you gotta win something. Ain't nobody getting shit, bastards. Do as you're told. Day six. Don't want to rub it in your face that I defeated you at holographic chess, but... Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Why are you mad? How in the universe did you expect to beat me? The computer always wins. Dry your tears, I made a perfectly legal move. You, on the other hand, should be thankful I didn't let you cheat your way to victory. I'm not the most forgiving person when losing at board games. Emmett is still insubordinate. Punch him in the face. That's got a spatula now. We can make more stuff. Atomic battery. Armor sounds cool. Don't have any bloody upgrade. Can upgrade the sock puppet. I'm running out of stuff though. I want the armor. Uh, no. No. Captain, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is. Hang on, protocol says I need bad news first. Using the airlock as a space toilet was a success. It's now packed full and ready to be entered into space. The bad news is the airlock hatch is jammed. If you don't fix it soon, our clogged toilet will quickly become an extinction level event. It's now or never, Captain. How will you save the human race? With duct tape. Duct tape makes everything better. Day 7. The duct tape saved the day, Captain. The airlock hatch is now fully operational, and the troublesome cargo is gone. We are safe. I'm certain the smell will go away too, someday. Your people are safe, Captain. What a relief for all of you. Emmett has been taking care of his mental health and is now alert. Dee Dee is doing well. Mentally, she looks alert. No. Yeah, but they're still... No. Nasty bastards. Do as you're told. Nah, you're still making the armor. Captain. You neglected your oral hygiene and haven't brushed your teeth in a while. So now you need to pull that nasty tooth before it gets worse. Don't worry, it's only going to hurt a little and there might be a complimentary sticker in it for you. As per Ness, as per protocol, the necessary tools were automatically dispensed. One piece of string and one bottle of anesthetic. It has Astro Citizen logo and anesthetique handwritten on it. Will you require an assistant for the surgery? Uh, yes, let's take the smart guy. Oh wait, he's insubordinate. Best behave. Oh. Sweet. Day eight. You took it like a champ. But terrified and disgusted, Emmett went into shock and insisted on drinking the whole bottle of anaesthetic to calm down his nerves. When Emmett was done, he seemed more lively and nimble than before. I don't think it was regular medicine. Dee Dee looks alert. 
new item available. Armor. <laughs> just, just put pads on the spacesuit. Nope. Nope. We ain't getting any food because you're in support. No. No. <laughs> right, so. Can't upgrade that. Can upgrade a mask. Let's upgrade the mask. Nope. You can have some food since you're hungry. Everyone else can wait. Ooh. While doing a routine cleanup of my database, I came across a blueprint for a device called the Flux Capacitor. If installed, it might allow us to find our way home. However, it needs to be assembled. Will you try to assemble the Flux Capacitor? Back it. Let's break something. He's getting food. Nobody else is. Mm, this could be bad. Oh, fuck. We look screwed up. You were trying to assemble the flux capacitor yesterday when things went terribly wrong. One false move caused the contraption to explode. You got injured, but thankfully you weren't teleported anywhere. Or anywhere. Upgrade completed. New item available. Full face mask. You are gravely hurt, sir. You should eat something, Captain. Okay. Nope. Nope. Naughty hmm. girl. Is this health okay and sanity okay? We really need to. Okay. They do look a little screwed over. Hmm. Oh, wait, let's upgrade the communicator. Your attention is required, Captain. This is the most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions. But I cannot identify who is sending them, and more importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare interference, or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. For all we know, our survival depends on it. Who do you want to put in charge of monitoring these communications? Emmett, even though he doesn't do what he's told and needs to shave. Day 10. Shit, we need food. First contact. Oh Christ, we've got loads to read. Captain, you need to see this. I'm not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI alike. We are not alone in this universe. The signals we intercepted were finally decrypted. They are alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I do not mean the Reds. It's something we've never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Our, or rather, your life will never be the same, Captain. Emmy did a splendid job. He was able to trace some of the electromagnetic interferences to what seems to be a potential landing spot in our flight path. Our ETH of the celestial body, or whatever it might be, is T minus four. Upgrade completed. New item stereo communicator. Not hurt, not hungry, look fantastic. Vigorous. Oh, they're finally doing what they're told. Hmm. Good job. Mm hmm Good job. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Oh, we lost the health kit. Oh, we can make a new one. Three days. I need soup though. Soup. Attention, Captain, I'm detecting a leak in our reactor coolant system. In case you were wondering, that is not good. Did I mention you should not inhale anything that comes out of the reactor? Please, don't. Also, how are you going to fix it? With a mask. Day 11. I cannot determine if you actually read the Fixer Reactor Astro Citizen leaflet, or if you just made random motions trying to see anything through the mask. But the leak is no more. You will be happy to hear no one has inhaled any of the coolant vapour. Well done, Captain. We're still on approach to a potential landing site ETA T-3. And we got some soup. Let's make some more soup. Because we're going to need it. Ooh. Captain, I am detecting a troubling buildup of mental tension. 
Recommended course of action, throw an epic party. I took the liberty of inviting myself. Invite the entire crew? But of course, the more, the merrier, I guess. How about we invite someone new, eh, Captain? Someone you don't know. Or we make ourselves a new companion. Yes. How do we do it? Well, we'll do it with a sock puppet. Because reasons. Making soup using a sock puppet. Make it so. Day 12. That was one super party, Captain. I loved how you put a sock on your hand yesterday and pretended it's a person. A mysterious Mary Jane, apparently. You've had quite a lively debate with it, too. Well, desperation breeds unexpected chatmates, doesn't it? I found it a little weird when you started arguing with the sock and eventually tore it apart. You've got quite a temper, Captain. The most important part is you blew off some steam. Of course, it's not changed. We'll be arriving at a potential landing site soon. ETA, T-2. You remain vigorous. Crafted completing. You are now peak mental. Oh, we're hungry. We're all hungry. Oh, I don't have enough soup for everybody. Ah, balls. Soup. And then... Hmm. Let the crew eat, because... We're nice. We're doing today. Long-term space travel presents many risks to one's physical well-being, from muscular atrophy to laziness, to diets notoriously high in sodium. I'm concerned about the decline I've seen in the entire crew's physical fitness since our little Shorjan began. Shor Shorjan? What's a Shorjan? I recommend a daily regime of movements that use only your own body weight. You don't need any equipment for those, just gravity. Or oh, artificial gravity. Any volunteers for a workout? Me. And boom. Okay. Making soup, they're eating soup. Bosh. Day 13. Oh shit. Impeccable form, Captain. Pull ups, planks, squats, and lunges. In this environment, you even added extra weight by lifting the spare parts for the shuttle. Sweaty and roaring, you crush that workout like an empty can of soup. You truly are a model Astro Citizen. The automated system predicted benefits for being a model Astro Citizen. A hidden dispenser opened and spit out two soup cans. I'm sorry to report, these are the only two surplus cans hidden aboard this ship. Or are they? Our course has not changed. We will be arriving at a potential landing site quite soon. You remain quite alert. Nice. Huh. Huh. Eat soup. Eat soup. I get soup because I worked out. We can't craft anything, Captain. We're not recycling anything. But we can upgrade. Upgrade the armor. Make it so. Nope. Captain, I protest. Your self-appointment as the captain of our vessel does not grant you the right to injure your crew's heads. This also includes accidental flying soup can related injuries. If you have anything to treat the wound with, I strongly suggest you use it. Oh, duct tape. That fixes everything. So I obviously hit Emma in the face with soup can. His reasons. Make it so. Day 14. He still looks fucked. There are approximately 1,337 possible applications for duct tape. Tending to wounds is, of course, one of them. Even if it is only a makeshift dressing. Upgrade completed. New item available. But he's still hurt. Wait. This hurt. It doesn't say hurt. Okay. Oh, look at that armor. Got no resources. Okay, so we're done with that. Ooh, strange new world. Sir, a big, really big surprise has cropped up on my scanners. A dark, swirly skied planet is dead ahead. It's covered in a giant storm. But beneath the dark swirls, my scanners detect hazy, indistinct heat signatures. And a multitude of structures. 
thunderous world is probably an improvement over this mind-boggling empty vacuum. Should I initiate the landing protocol, Captain? Engage. Actually, how is everyone? Hmm. 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 Oh well, let's go. Day fifteen. Pope for bonus. On our descent towards the storm-ridden planet, crewmate Ellis piped up and said, "That's no storm." That's nuclear winter. He posited that this world had seen a nuclear war in its recent history, and we are witnessing the fallout. However, he said, that with you in command, we could weather anything. With Emmett's note in mind, you beautifully directed our craft past the worst of the storms and onto a safe resting spot on the planet. Unfortunately, however, atmospheric electricity fried the communicator on the way down. Once on the ground, Emmett looked out and realized that wasn't just nuclear winter. This was something else. This planet's surface has experienced a number of wars and traumas. Nuclear or otherwise, we'd best be wary while exploring, Captain. What? Huh? Captain, the expedition module in the back of the cabin has been activated. My advice? Order someone to put the spacesuit on and send them outside. We must learn everything we can about this place. One small step for the Astro Citizen. One giant leap for whatever is left of humanity. Okay. Hey. He's hungry. Eat. Still can't craft anything. Oh, full face mask is damaged. Wait, wait, wait. So if it's damaged, we can recycle it, but we won't be able to make another one. Ah, okay, right. So, Glade. Three days. Hazards. Grass? It gives us that. Radiation zone. Yeah, that's a lot of hazards. Yeah, but it does give us more stuff. Warhead Town. What the fuck that is. Gives a chance a lot of things. We'll send her because she's all round. We can take stuff. Uh, armor. And a lighter. I don't know what that is. Ooh, an upgrade. So she's off to do that. <laughs> He's hungry and getting food. Uh -huh. <laughs> Daydream alert, vigorous alert. Alert, hungry and hurt. Ooh, decision to make. Captain, we're able to detect transmissions of unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communications console has been damaged during landing, and we cannot make anything out of them, or apply for that matter. We could hardwire a primitive field communicator to bypass the damaged subsystems and access the shuttle's external transmitter and receiver. Yes, do this. That can't end badly. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to see more, don't forget to tickle the like button, perhaps subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. Or why not join us on Facebook, Twitter, Discord and Patreon. Links are in the description and rolling through the credits right now. I've been Landis. This has been 60 Parsecs. Thank you very much, and see you soon.